Hello Union family, I'm Charles with American Workers First. Welcome back to Union Facts Friday. Today we're talking about A. Philip Randolph and 10,000 black men named George. Born in 1889, A. Philip Randolph was a labor leader, organizer, and civil rights activist who had a profound impact on American history. In 1925, he helped found the Brotherhood of Sleeping Car Porters Union, which was the first African-American labor union to be affiliated with the American Federation of Labor. Now, while it was founded in 1925, they weren't able to negotiate the first contract with the Pullman Company until 1937, a full 12 years later. The Pullman Company having invented the sleeping car for trains, porters being the workers who staffed the carriages. As after the Civil War ended, there were not many job opportunities for the freed slaves, and Pullman seized upon that desperation to find cheap, exploitable labor. The working conditions were horrendous, with long hours, abysmal wages, and even stipulations that if the white passengers stole the towels, that money was deducted from the porter's paycheck. The workers weren't even afforded the dignity of being addressed by their own name, as they were all simply called George after the company's founder, hence the title 10,000 Black Men named George. During the 12 year struggle to be recognized, the company employed violence, firings, coercion, and even propaganda to try and destroy the union and the lives of their leaders. But Randolph would not be deterred, and after ratifying their new contract, the union was able to guarantee the highest raise the porters had ever seen, reasonable hours, and better working conditions. But after that, Randolph was far from done. In 1941, he used the threat of a march on Washington to pressure President FDR into signing Executive Order 8802, which banned discrimination by defense contractors and established the Fair Employment Practices Committee to see that it was enforced. In 1948, he again used the power of the people to force President Harry Truman to issue Executive Order 9981, which ended segregation in the armed forces. And in 1963, Randolph headed up the famous March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. He also spoke of the march, saying, Let the nation and the world know the meaning of our numbers. We are the advance guard of a massive moral revolution for jobs and freedom. A. Philip Randolph was one of the most important and influential forces in the civil rights and labor movements. He doesn't get nearly as much attention as he should. He understood that it was by standing together that we would all succeed and that worker rights are human rights. If you would like to learn more, I highly recommend you watch the movie 10,000 Black Men Named George, which chronicles his journey organizing the porters. You can watch the entire thing for free on YouTube, link in the description below. Thanks for joining us on Union Facts Friday. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. We will see you next time, and until then, keep demanding that American workers get put first.